Hello friends. First of all, let me congratulate you for clearing the prelims exam. We all, we have a great question in our mind that how we should write the essay, and especially in the last minute preparation. Essay, when you look at the component in totality, is definitely a scoring topic. So, in a span of three hours. how can we impress the examiner and let's imagine if we are the examiners what we expect from an aspirant who are writing the essay exam in this we will be discussing certain rules certain strategy that will help you to score better in this civils 2020 essay exam we always have a question in our mind that if you want to score the better in any aspect first we should know the rules of the exam i mean look at the component of essay as a part of mains exam they clearly explain it's going to be in the paper 1 i mean you read carefully it says candidates may be required to write essay on multiple topics so you'll be giving section 1 and section 2 one will be based on issue based another is based on opinion based so you got to have a clarity first try to pick the issue that is very familiar to you don't try to jump to some issues like science and technology and that you they talk about in technical terms because if you see carefully here they will be expected to keep closely to the subject of the essay to arrange their ideas in the orderly fashion so it is very important that the subject of the topic you are going to choose is vital so if you select any kind of a social aspect like poverty and employment there's a high possibility that you can impress the examiner with the basic skills you carry on the other end if you observe the opinion based try to give your opinion in a very balanced approach don't try to take extreme ends don't try to say yes in the essay or no in the essay but try to have a very balanced approach and they asked to arrange their ideas in an orderly fashion that means when you are listening when you are evaluating an essay being an examiner we expect that it should be like a flow try to make sure that you try to use a connective links the connecting words are very important like if you use the word likewise as soon as morally ethically socially so try to use this connective word so that it will be in a very orderly fashion that means when you write any paragraph apart from the introduction and the last conclusion make sure you fill the remaining paragraphs and make sure those paragraphs begins with a connective words that's very important you can google to get the basic connective words to improve your essay standards to write concisely to make sure that you are precise to the topic don't go away from the topic especially the subject that you take credit will be given for the effective and exact expression that is very clear if you are able to express your ideas in a very proper manner in a very professional way and that is a high scope that you can expect more quality more if your target should be like 150 plus in the essay if you score less than 150 that shows your strategy of picking the essay is not the proper one rule number 2 make sure that when you write the essay the relevant material supposed to be given as a correspondence like try to get the data majorly from yojana or kurukshetra or economic and political weekly or even your favorite newspaper hindu and would be happy if you be mentioned that when you mention a statistics or certain data make sure you mention them in the back background at least a word called yojana and mention if you're not sure about the month mention 2019 or kurukshetra 2019 that adds more value to your statements that you put on the paper 
don't try to refer many materials it's already time is already gone so you can't expect to read materials now or don't try to buy hack another new essays if you got predefined essays on average of four to five essays that really will make you to score a better score of 130 plus so make sure that you should have done long back as you if you didn't give any test for essay my suggestion for you is that try to refer a one year yojana or even kurukshetra in one go and try to at least remember the chapter names of yojana or kurukshetra because the chapters at least you can mention them in your answer writing rule number three make sure that your essay paper supposed to be in a very plain way don't write the essay as if you are writing the general studies make sure that you try to give analysis and that may not be a microscopic in nature try to give an overview try to, try to give an aerial view so that he'll be trying to understand what you are trying to explain and don't try to showcase your optional knowledge over here because if you start focusing only on one essay the time is not going to be sufficient you have three hours to write two essays on average if you observe you need to spend at least little time for brainstorming each essay you take for 10 minutes or 10 minutes on average that means of that you are left only with the remaining two hours and 40 minutes of that if you and roughly if you calculate for response or the initiated response this is going to be on average coming to 2 or 30 minutes so make sure my friend every minute that you spend with the paper really matters so once you get a paper make sure that select what is the issue that you are familiar with and what is opinion that you are strong with and try to use only them and make sure that take the subject and fastly try to make a, a rough page the last page of the essay where you have a rough work where you can use a, a tree diagram or you can use a tree a, a flow chart and try to put as many as possible like socially economically politically culturally and the remaining aspects so try to make sure that you try to simplify them and here is very important that if you prepare for the essay well and good but what really matters is in that crisis time you got to put it, that you prepare very well in a very fashion way if that's just if you have that kind of spirit then definitely revision will add more advantage to that make sure that your revision is going to pay a lot in your preparation if you revise just before the exam that doesn't really matter still you need to revise on average two to three times the same topic for example you select an essay of poverty make sure you try to get that poverty data in totality and practice minimum two to three times these are very important and here comes at the time of test what you should do once you get the test paper once you get the exam paper it's going to be a paper like this and you're going to see a paper other way over here questions going to be here questions going to be given here in the section a and section b there'll be a space you can start but please don't try to start at this page try to put a word called pto and start from here so you're going to start the essay on a fresh page and make sure that you write the word PTO. If not, this is going to be a big concern later on. So start on a fresh page. And how should I start the, or what should the length of my passage is a very common question we always have in our mind. Take into consideration. They said that your essay should be between 1200 till 1400 if you take an average scribe. If you take on A4 page, a4 page you can write a uh, three paragraphs in a single page that means each para consists of 50 50 50 that means you got to mention minimum three paragraphs in a single site and each carrying an average 50 words that means on one page on one page that means a paper one side one page you got to mention 150 words if that's the case to reach 1200 words you got to mention totally 25 paragraphs if you mention the 25 paragraphs then possibly you are on the right track so make sure that you fall between 1000 to 1200 words 
as prescribed by the UPSC. So your essay should be on average between 20 to 25 paragraphs. Don't go beyond that. And I sincerely suggest you try to make sure that essay paper is properly properly arranged. You start with a quotation, very good. You start with a famous example, not a problem. But try to put in a very orderly fashion. Don't try to jump directly to the subject in the introduction itself. Try to narrate what exactly the topic is trying to explain. It's going to help you a lot so that even the examiner is going to understand what you're trying to explain to him. You can use famous quotations of Abraham Lincoln, Mahatma Gandhi, Abdul Kalam, or frequently that you see in the newspaper. And try to also use a quotation in the last conclusion that's going to be on the 20th paragraph or on the 25th paragraph that is going to be the last one. Try to make sure that your conclusion should be in an optimistic manner. That's going to be more rewarding in nature. So I wish you all the best. And I wish you all the best. And Sibyl Swidhyapit wishes aspirants. May God's speed be with you. Jai Hind.